I ran out with uh, my coworker and I saw, you know, it's a terrible accident. Ryan McFarland heard the loud crash from his office just steps away and raced to help the victims. I ran up to the, the car that had the child in it and um, it, was, it was just terrible. It, it was just terrible. We have one trapped child in a car right now. We are starting education. McFarland cared for the young boy until paramedics arrived. There's no injuries here. More specifically, I'm worried about this child, though. I told him to hurry up. It wasn't until the following morning that he learned the boy, identified by the medical examiner as four-year-old Alexis Calles Gonzalez, had died at the hospital. And I had my hands, and I was holding the kid's head up. You know, I'm trying to make sure that it wouldn't move. Emergency services came and took over, and then I, I come into work this morning, I found out that child had died. And I mean, I, I, I'm just, I'm like in shock about it. Two women in that car were also seriously hurt, as was the driver of the striking vehicle, a 27-year-old Greenfield man who police say was speeding and was arrested for operating while intoxicated. McFarland says the man was yelling at police. He was laying on the road screaming and he was being uncooperative, belligerent with the police and emergency services, yelling at them to let him go. As police returned to the crash site Thursday to continue their investigation, McFarland's thoughts were with the family of the young victim. That, that poor kid, he was just a little kid. He was just a kid and he's dead now because someone decided to drink and drive. It, it's, it's just heartbreaking. And Kent, you say police are still investigating. What do we know about charges at this point? Well, West Dallas police tell us that once their investigation wraps up, they will be forwarding charges to the district attorney's office. I checked with the DA's office this afternoon. They say they've not received anything as of yet. Ken Wayne Scott in West Dallas tonight. Ken, thank you.